What's good everybody, it's your boy Eddie and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And for today's video, if we are lucky enough, we'll be reviewing the Nike Air Jordan 4 Remastered in the Nigel Sylvester Bike Air colorway. Guys, we about to head to Kiff right now and go on this bike ride and hopefully we get that W. So shout out to my boy Mark right here. Yo. He's a professional biker and I've never biked in the city so I'm, I'm pretty nervous right now but I'll catch y'all in a bit, all right? So we're back in the crib now, and I have to say that that event was an absolute movie. But before we even continue this video, guys, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. Your boy has been out here trapping, trying to give you the best sneaker content possible, and I believe that I'm absolutely doing that. So please, if you want to show support to your boy, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and family and all that, and definitely like the video if you like the content that I've been putting out. So with that being said, y'all, the sneaker that I have right here is none other than the Nike Air Jordan 4 remastered Nigel Sylvester in the grandma's driveway colorway. And I have to say, based off of first impressions, this sneaker is an absolute hit. Honestly, I am on record two months ago whenever the Air Jordan 4 remastered was revealed in that black and bone colorway stating that this is going to be a hit. A lot of people were not fans of the product pictures, but I'm very happy that Nigel Sylvester was actually able to be the one to debut the sneaker in this unique colorway and bring a whole movement behind it. So yesterday for the Go Ride event, about 500 or more people pulled up. Lil Yachty was there, obviously Nigel Sylvester was there. Honestly, I didn't even think Nigel was gonna pull up because he was all the way in London, but obviously with that time difference of being about five hours ahead and the flight being like a seven hour flight, he was able to do the Go Ride event in London earlier and that time difference allowed him to fly back to NYC and do a whole nother bike riding session, which is absolutely crazy. And honestly, I don't know how he did that because that bike ride session was about, what, an hour, hour and a half and about 10 to 15 miles, which was absolutely crazy, especially with all the traffic going on in NYC and having to maneuver the cars and all that type of stuff. Absolute madness, but I have to say that made this event very much more special. And something else that made it special was the fact that I was actually able to get Nigel's signature on the shoe. I met with him, we was able to have a brief conversation. I told him, yo bro, I'm a little bit sweaty because of the bike ride. He started laughing, he's like, I love it and all that type of stuff. And then I told him I respect and appreciate what you're doing. I told him I really love the inspiration behind the shoe because I love my grandmother a lot. And that's essentially the whole entire concept behind the shoe, which I'll get into later into the history of the video. But with that being said, y'all, let's get right into the box details. And I have to say, this is a knock out of the park. It is absolutely fire, it is absolutely amazing. And first of all, when we look at the top of the lid right here, you can see that instead of having Nike Air on the box, it does say Bike Air, and I think that is absolutely awesome. And then when we actually go all around the box, you can see that we have this kind of driveway pavement. And what I really love about this box detail is the fact that when you touch the pebbles and all the rocks and the cracks, it is actually textured. So on the bottom right here, you can see that we have this crack detail. So when we go right here onto the sticker tag, you you can see it right there and it does read off as air jordan 4 rmsp and the rm stands for remastered or remod and the sp stands for special projects and the colorway shown here is pro green metallic platinum and black and i definitely agree with all of that because that's all the colorways that i do see on the sneaker itself and i actually went with my true to size of a size 8. i'm gonna be honest guys i definitely believe you can go true to size if you have narrow to semi-wide feet but if you do have wide feet, I would recommend to go a half size up because with this sneaker right here, this is what I believe should have been the actual Nike SB4. Not saying that I don't love the pine green SB4s that dropped last year, but when you actually look at the tooling, the feeling of it, this is going to be a great bike riding shoe. This is going to be a great skateboarding shoe because again, it has a lot of padding. So when you think of the Nike SB Dunk Lows or any SBs, they have a lot of thick padding. So when you look at this ankle collar area right here, 
it is full of a lot of great padding. And guess what else has a lot of comfortable padding on it? The actual inside of the tongue itself. And when you actually put your foot into it, I don't know what they changed, but it is so much better and so much more comfortable than the original Air Jordan 4 technology that we normally have. So whatever Nike and Jordan brand did to achieve this, they did an excellent job because on the outside, you could definitely still see the Air Jordan 4 signature details on it. But on the inside, when you put your feet in and you feel how comfortable the insole is, it is an amazing ride, guys. I can't lie to y'all. I really love what they did with this. And again, I was on the record saying that these are going to be a hit and I'm so happy and proud that Nigel was actually able to bring this out and go out with a bang for the first Air Jordan 4 remastered silhouette and colorway, man. So with that being said, guys, let's just go more into the box details because it's not over yet. So when you actually take off this lid right here, it does have this gold detail. So instead of just do it, it just says go, which I do love that detail. Something else that I wanna point out is the fact that we do have these very nice stickers right here. So we have the Bike Air by Jordan, the Bike Air logo, the Flight logo, the Bike Nike logo, so many different things. Now when going into the history of these sneakers, the box details pretty much tells all of it, but I wanna dive a little bit deeper. So as I mentioned, this pebble detail right here is Nigel Sylvester's grandmother's driveway. And this is exactly where he actually fell in love with riding BMXs and what led him to become a professional BMX rider. Also, when we look at this wax tissue paper right here, this is literally proof and evidence of Nigel being in his grandmother's driveway and riding bikes as a kid. And again, this led to him becoming what he is today, a professional Nike athlete, a professional BMX rider and one of the best in the world. And now let's just get right into the details of the sneaker. And I have to say, there are no misses on this as well. So when we actually look at this toe box right here, you can see that we have this very high quality suede toe box and the whole entire upper is pretty much suede other than some TPU details. But the reason why I know that it's high quality is the fact that the green suede does have that backstroke motion, which pretty much means when you touch the suede itself, it changes colors depending on which angle you push it which means it's a very high quality suede then when looking at the mud guard of the shoe right here we do have that fence green because although it does say pro green on here Nigel Sylvester actually said in his details and history of the sneaker is what actually matches the color of the fence that Nigel was at by his grandmother's driveway something else to note on the mud guard of the shoe is the fact that we do have this small Nike check right here which looks absolutely phenomenal and does remind me of one his Air Jordan 1 sneakers as well as a lot of Nike SBs that be having this now and moving towards the top top of the shoe now you can see that we actually have this very nice quality canvas tongue and it feels absolutely great to the touch then when we look at the laces right here you can see that we do have these pro green or fence green laces but it also comes with an extra pair of white laces and i have to say this looks absolutely phenomenal as well i don't think you can go wrong with either the green or the white laces because both of them is going to make the shoe look absolutely phenomenal and now when we go into the top of the tongue you can see that we do have that bike air by jordan which is an absolutely nice touch now when going on to the lateral side of the shoe guys you can see that we do have a primarily suede upper however there are some tpu hits right there and i guess this is just to add some flexibility to the shoe as well as some stability and kind of make the shoe a little bit lighter because as we know with the regular air jordan 4s there's a lot more web netting there's the wing cages and all that type of stuff but this is a stripped down version and i really do like it a lot of people are going to be mad that it's not the og but to me this is one of the most innovative things that jordan brand has done in a very long time because it's a remaster, but it looks like a different shoe, but it still keeps the DNA of the Air Jordan 4. So I like it. I don't know what you guys think about it, but this is an absolute hit to me. Now I'm going into the back heel area of the shoe, guys. You can see that we do have this D Boss Jumpman logo right here. And then right in the center, we do have this Bike Air 3M detail. And I love that they added that 3M detail. It looks absolutely phenomenal once you put the flashlight on it. And I just love that instead of saying Nike Air, they contributed the bike community or bike culture onto it. And that's why we do have that bike air detail. But now I'm going on to the medial side of it. The same thing pretty much follows with the lateral side. So there's nothing to report on there. So now let's just focus onto the midsole. And when it comes to the actual design of the midsole itself, it looks exactly like the Air Jordan 4. We have these rubberized details as well as this two-tone black midsole and then white right where the air bubble is and I think it looks absolutely phenomenal and then when going on to the outsole of the shoe you can see that we do have it in this herringbone traction pattern which looks absolutely amazing and then we do have it in some multi-color details so we do have it in black 
red and then the Nike Air detail right here is in that white colorway. And before I conclude this review, guys, I wanna go over one more detail, which is the insoles itself. And now one more final detail that I wanna show you guys before I conclude this review is the fact that we do have these very simple but fire insoles right here. So on this side, we do have this fuzzy detail on the insole with this 3M Air Jordan logo. And then on the left side, we do have Nigel Sylvester's name with that 3M detail as well, which I think looks absolutely phenomenal. And again, I have to say that these Air Jordan 4s feel so comfortable on feet. I don't get that little pinky toe irritation that most people feel when wearing Air Jordan 4s. It just feels very comfortable. With that being said, y'all, that's gonna conclude the history as well as the details of the shoe. So now, let's get right into the song for a look, all right? All right, y'all, so that's gonna conclude the review as well as an on for look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all. Definitely let me know what you think about the Nike Air Jordan 4 remastered Nigel Sylvester in the grandma's driveway colorway. I definitely wanna hear y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. And other than that, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family and all that, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.